Welcome to LA Art Zone, where we take you on an artistic journey through Los Angeles County. I'm your host, Yo Mary Cruz. Today, we are at the Long Beach Museum of Art, where you will find contemporary art collections and exhibitions in a variety of media. Visit their website, lbma.org, for more information about current exhibitions and programs. The museum is located at 2300 East Ocean Boulevard in Long Beach. This beautiful campus overlooks the Long Beach Harbor and the Pacific Ocean. You have to check it out for yourself. But for right now, come with us and we'll give you an inside look at the Long Beach Museum of Art right here on LA Art Zone. The Long Beach Museum of Art is impressive on so many levels, and here to tell us more about it is Executive Director Ron Nelson. Thank you so much for having us around today. Glad you're here. I'm always glad to share this um, institution with as many people as possible, and um, it's, it's wonderful to have you here. Well, I love the campus itself. It's so beautifully positioned. And yeah. there's so many beautiful things to look at. Tell me more about that. The museum was originally found in 1950, and it was in a craftsman home here on the bluff overlooking the ocean. Um, the building we're in right now is our new galleries. These were completed in 2000. We've always collected contemporary art of Southern California. And you also feature a lot of local artists, right? We do. Um, Long Beach has some of the number of artists that are really emerging. And with our size and who we are, it's very easy for us to do a um, mid-career retrospective, um, but also show emerging artists. And I think that's a really important part in artists' career. We also do a lot of great work with the kids, right? Yeah, we do. We also educate, and I think education is just as important as um, the work that we're collecting. Um, a museum isn't just a static storage one. It's you know, a living, breathing part of the community. And we are the art curriculum for the entire fifth grade for the uh, Long Beach Unified School District. This year we're going to be successful with 99% of the fifth grade students in the city of Long Beach will have come here, had an art making experience, been led through with the docent, and the teachers leave with lesson plans. My favorite part about that program is the fact that you actually display kids' yeah. artwork. I yeah. love that. Yeah. We have one gallery that is dedicated totally to students' artwork. And we continually throughout the year have changing shows for um, curated from um, artwork within each grade level from primary to high school. And those shows are put on as professionally as any other exhibition that we do. And the empowerment that they receive from seeing their work on the walls from an institution such as this is amazing. What it's, an amazing feeling that must be. Yeah. yeah to it see is. your art hanging right next to a professional artist. Yeah. And it's free to come here on Fridays? Free Fridays. That's Thank great. you, LA County Arts Commission. That's <laughs> great. Uh, we also do a free Thursday night, and uh, our restaurant is open on Thursday nights also. Everyone's welcome, and you're definitely going to want to stop by and check it out. Great time to do it, free Fridays. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's my pleasure. There is so much to see here, and in charge of all of that is Sue Ann Robinson, Director of Collections and Exhibitions. So tell us about all of this beautiful artwork that you have here, an impressive collection. Thank you. The artwork comes from a, a long tradition of showing living contemporary artists, most of whom are from Southern California, and they work in all media. So there's wood and sculpture and painting and printmaking and works on paper and photography and you're just, just about it. everything. Yeah, yes. you're keeping it Ceramics. interesting for everyone. Yes. This is great. Now, tell me about this, because I know that you love organizing uh, different exhibitions from your permanent collection, but then you also have special exhibitions that you bring in, right? We have a special exhibition right now by Sherry Wolf, and she is a contemporary artist, and we put together an exhibition called Baroque Sensibilities, Sherry Wolf. Um, I think it's particularly interesting because she uses as her points of inspiration already existing paintings, like the Blue Boy, which is at the Huntington. She then adds a still life, so the paintings become part of a still life. And they're wonderful 
varieties of fruit and flowers juxtaposed with famous paintings. That's interesting because yeah. it puts it in a whole new light. Yes, it does. You start looking at everything differently when you see her work. So I understand that you organize the Enriching and Engaging exhibition from your permanent collection, is that correct? It is, and it's the new acquisitions that we have received in the last two and a half years. Not all of them, but a good sampling and a good variety includes things like uh, Kim Abley's Altered Artist Book and a wonderful book by um, Mariana Barkas. Paintings by a local painter, John Martin, who used to teach at Cal State Long Beach. And a wonderful sculpture in wood by Joseph Schuldiner. And we have a couple of pieces in our permanent collection by him. So it's always nice to add more so that people get more of a sense of what the artist is doing and what the artist is all about. And I enjoy making exhibitions from our permanent collection. I like to change things around just as much as the temporary exhibitions. The gallery that we're standing in now has an ocean view, so I selected a group of paintings from the permanent collection, and the theme is boats and harbors. How appropriate. <laughs> so it's a good view inside and a good view outside. It's gorgeous and very fitting. I love the variety of artwork that you have here, Thank and you. there's definitely something for everyone, and I love that it keeps changing because you can keep coming back over and over again and see something new every time you come back. Thank you so much for showing us around. Thank you. Another highlight at the Long Beach Museum of Art is Claire's. The museum restaurant is named after the artist Claire Falkenstein, and her works surround the restaurant's exterior. Falkenstein's structure and flow fountain is the beautiful centerpiece. The interior of the restaurant is a gallery in itself, with multiple displays of artwork from the museum's permanent collection. Sit inside and enjoy lunch surrounded by history and culture, or sit outside and enjoy the ocean view. Visiting the Long Beach Museum of Art is easy and fun. The museum stays open late on Thursday nights and it's free on Fridays. Bring the whole family for an interesting day of art and hands-on workshops, and then stay for a nice lunch at Claire's or an artist talk. The Long Beach Museum of Art has so much to offer, we are lucky to have it here in Los Angeles County. Visit their website, lbma.org, to plan your next visit. I'm your Mary Cruz. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time, right here on LA Art Zone.